Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we're going to continue our discussion in random engineering board exam problem. So this problem is already problem number 32 and this can be included in the mechanical engineering licensure exam. So under power and industrial plant engineering. But this can also be part of the engineering board exam in general. So under physics siya. So here's the problem. 100 grams of water is mixed to 150 grams of alcohol with a density of 790 kilograms per cubic meter. So calculate the specific volume of the solution, assuming that it is mixed completely. Okay, so let's go back again to the basic concepts. So specific volume of the mixture, so that's the total uh, combination or the mixture in the problem is water and alcohol. So, minix sila. So, therefore, magkakaroon siya ng total specific volume. So, when we say specific volume, this is just the total volume per total mass. Okay? So, we need to get the total volume of this mixture and the total mass and then divide lang natin yung total volume sa mass ng mixture, yun na yung ating specific volume. Okay? So, dito yung total volume natin. So, the total volume of the mixture is equal to the volume of the water plus the volume of the alcohol. Okay? So, in this problem, uh, hindi tayo given no, ng volume ng water, pero meron tayong mass. So, we will assume na ang density ng water here is standard. So, the density of water is equal to 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. Okay? And then, yung volume ng alcohol can be computed using this data. So, di ba ang ating density? So, density of alcohol is equal to the mass of the alcohol over the volume of the alcohol. Okay? So, therefore, ang volume ng alcohol is just equal to, okay, so that's just the mass of the alcohol over the density of the alcohol. Okay? So, we can get, so we can get uh, the volume of water, okay, forced by dividing the mass, okay, mass of the Water divided by the density of the water. Okay? So, same concept to guys now. So, it's just uh, from density equals mass over volume. Okay? So, remember that density is the uh, mass per unit volume of a substance. Okay? And these are really just the fundamental concepts. And this is very important concept. Volume. Uh, mass densities are these are concept na so basically ito guys these are just fundamental concepts and these fundamental concepts are really important no so itong mga basics na to are the building blocks of our thermodynamics okay or under physics na rin tong problem na to so we can get a total volume kasi meron tayong equation for water volume ng water and then volume of the alcohol Okay, so we can compute this. How about the mass total? So, yung mass total natin given naman sa problem. Okay? Mass total is just equal to the mass of water plus the mass of the alcohol. So, in the problem given yun, guys, no? So, mass ng water is 100 grams. And then, mass ng alcohol is 150 grams. So, that's a total of 250 grams. So, we just need to compute the volume of water and the volume of the alcohol to get this total volume. And finally, compute na natin yung specific volume. Okay? So, yun yung algorithm ng ating problem. Okay? So, let's compute for the volume of the water first. Okay? Using this equation here. So, the volume of the water is equal to the mass ng water. So, that's 100 grams over the density of water which is 1,000 
kilograms per cubic meter. Okay, so as you can observe, hindi para sa yung unit natin. So it's either itong kilograms gawin mong grams or yung grams gawin mong kilograms. So itong grams na lang gawin natin kilograms. So yung 1 kg, 1 kilogram is just equal to 1,000 grams. In this case, mag-cancel na yung unit natin of grams here. So kilogram will also cancel out. And then you have the unit of, okay, that's a cubic meter. So itong cubic meter, pwede mo nang ilagay dun sa taas since the denominator siya ng fraction sa baba. Okay, so therefore you have the volume of the water equals, so uh, 100 divided by 1,000, that's just 0.1, and then divide by 1,000. So 100 divided by 1,000. Okay, divide by 1,000. So that gives you uh, 1 times 10 raised to negative 4. That is in cubic meter. Okay, so next, what is the volume of the alcohol? So that is just mass of the alcohol divided by the density of the alcohol, which is given in the problem. Okay, 790 kilograms per cubic meter. So 150 grams per 790 kilograms per cubic meter. Okay, so we need to convert this. 1 kilogram per 1,000 grams. And then divide lang natin. So 150 divided by 1,000. And then divide by 790. So it gives us approximately this is okay, 1.8987. So that is times 10 raised to negative 4. That is cubic meter. Okay, so you already have the volume of the water and the volume of the alcohol. So add na lang natin siya. Total volume equals the sum of these two uh, values. Plus 1.8987 times 10 raised to negative 4 cubic meter. So this is a rounded off number guys. No? So remember that in your calculator, always take note of this. You always input the exact value. So okay, mag round off at mag round off hanggat hindi nyo nakukuha yung tama answer. So you can put the rounded off number here but in your calculator, should always put the exact value. So that accurate yung answer natin. Yung answer kanina, add lang natin dito kay 1 times 10 raised to negative 4. So, walang problema si 1 times 10 raised to negative 4 kasi exact value siya. So, this gives you uh, 2.8987. So, that's just times 10 raised to negative 4 cubic meter. Okay? Total volume, okay na. Okay? Divide lang natin sa total mass. And then, there you have it. Meron ka ng specific volume. So, remember yung variable for specific volume or yung, uh, yes, the variable for that is yung parang Greek letter na V. Okay? So, correct me if I'm wrong. It's just a Greek letter yung parang merong uh, paganitong style na V. Okay? Parang may paganan. So, that's a specific volume symbol. So, the specific volume is just equal to, so total yun, total volume, 2.898, 7 times 10 raised to negative 4 cubic meter, divided by total mass, which is 250, okay, grams. So, usually ang ating specific volume is expressed in cubic meter per kilogram. Okay, so dito gawin natin kilogram to guys. No? Gawin natin kilogram to. So this should be 1 kilogram per 1,000 grams. Okay, so specific volume. So remember guys, no? so ang i-input sa calculator is yung exact value kanina. So kapag ito yung in-input nyo lang, so maybe magkaiba tayo ng answer. But if your input... But if you input the exact value in the calculator na nakuha natin kanina, you can uh, get the exact answer. So I advise that you use the shift store function of your calculator or kung ano man yung answer nyo dito, yun na yung i-divide natin. Okay? Okay, so we just divide this value guys, no? Sa calculator natin. 
Okay, so remember to put the exact value. So that gives us so 1.16. Okay, so the total. Okay, the specific volume of the mixture is equal to 1.16. Okay, three significant figures tayo. 1.16 times 10 raised to negative 3. That is in cubic meters per kilogram. Okay, so ayan. So this is now the final answer for this problem. Okay, so there is another version of this problem, guys. No? So, sa isang problem, ang pinapahanap is the specific gravity. So, if we, if we are going to get the specific gravity of the mixture, so, we're going to compute the specific gravity of the mixture. That is just equal to the density of the mixture all over the density of water. Okay, so yun yung basis natin na liquid, that is water. So, to get the specific gravity of the mixture, so yung, de yung density total natin, divide lang natin sa density ng water. So, since the specific volume is just equal to the total volume over the mass total, so we can say that the reciprocal now. So, ano yung reciprocal ng specific volume? So, the reciprocal of the specific volume is just equal to, syempre, papalitin mo din to, no? So, reciprocal din ito. So, that is just total mass over total volume. So, what does this tell us? No? Ano yung mass over volume? So, mass over volume is just equal to the density. So, in this case, total density. So, therefore, ang reciprocal pala ng specific volume is just equal to the density. Okay, so from this uh, fundamental concepts, marami kang ma-derive na concepts. So, isolve natin yung specific gravity ng mixture. Although hindi siya given sa problem, there is another version of this problem where ininahanap, guys, yung specific gravity. So, pag binigay sa inyo sa board exam yung ganito, so at least you know what to do. Okay? So, yung density ng total mixture is just equal to the reciprocal of this. No? So, 1 over. So, that's just 1.16 times 10 raised to negative 3. That is cubic meters per kilogram. All over the density of water, standard tayo guys. No? So, 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. So, itong dalawa, mag-cancel na to, guys. No? Kasi ito, kung i-simplify mo yan, ilalabas mo siya dito, magiging kilograms per cubic meter din yan. Okay? Kapag nilagay mo dun sa gilid, no? kasi naka-fraction siya sa baba, so itataas mo yung kilograms para magiging uh, simplest form siya na kilograms per cubic meter. Okay? So, mag-cancel na yan. So, cancel. So, therefore, so, ang SG natin, no, the specific uh, gravity or relative density is, uh, ano siya, no? So, this is a unitless value because you're dividing the density. So, that gives you, so divide lang natin, divide by 1,000. So, yung relative, so yung specific volume kanina, no, divide lang natin sa... A1.16 times 10 raised to negative 3. So, I will put this value, no? So, divide by 1,000. So, it's just 0. 0.862. So, this is the specific gravity of the mixture. Or, in other words, so in other term, ang specific gravity is also called the relative density. So, I hope that you have learned from this, guys. No? So, this is uh, a very useful na problem because uh, most of the engineering courses merong thermodynamics. So, itong problem na to, uh, basic problem lang naman to, no? but this is actually the building block of uh, engineering science, especially sa thermodynamics. So, thank you guys for watching this video again, and if you find this video helpful, so, click mo lang yung subscribe button, tsaka yung notify bell.
para updated ka sa mga next videos natin. So, thank you guys for watching this video and see you on my next video. Bye-bye.